swift. What shall Presto do for pretty prattle to entertain his dears? Sunday lightning fifty times this week to Flanders goes the Duke of Ormond. Small hope of him, although he loves me well. All of my hopes now possible, none certain, as my lampoon talked up all over, cried up to the sky. You are an impudent slut to be so positive, though all has gone just as you said it would. Sirrah, write constantly. Don't I write every day and sometimes twice? Stella writes like an emperor. Sirrah, I am surprised forever by myself or by the others. Dee, dee, an angel child, stupid in me, stupid or innocent, astonished by the gush of vanity, the stone in eyes of pride, yet equally by the least straw or glitter of nobility. Face, Madame Dingley, what think you of the world to come? Patience. Patience is a gay thing, O oh, saucy rogues. Patience is better than knowledge. Be gay till I return. Mr. Harley speaks every kind thing to me. Truly, I do believe would serve me if I stayed. Called the coffee houses, stayed there a while, coldly conversed with Mr. Addison. All our friendship and dearness now are off. Isn't it not odd? I think he has used me ill. I have as little pleasure in all the world as anyone, although I am in full favor with the entire ministry. Nothing gives Presto any dream of happiness but letters now and then from his dearest ones. The pride of power, the pride and pleasure of place and power are towers and trivial toys which lure me grievously, raging furiously in illuminations and furiation, bursting the roan, my head, my empire. Gulliver, Gulliver, the seizes in my heart tell me how all infamy is possible and certain treacheries extremely probable. I must take leave of dearest M.D. now. Prithee, be merry, patient girls, and love your presto. I have read all the trash, and I am weary. Dearest lies, there is peace and quiet to see in thee alone. None here have the pleasure for little things. Farewell again, dear rogues. I am never happy when I think of thee, M.D. Sir, I have had enough of courts and ministries. I wish I were once more at Laracor. Faith, do you know each syllable I write? I hold my lips exact for all the world, as if I talked the little language with M.D. Yesterday died the Duke of Ormond's daughter. Poor dear, she was with child. She was my favorite pet, save thee. I hardly knew a being more valuable, more beautiful, of more nobility. I fear the certainty that she was thrown away quite carelessly and merely lacked care. Tis clear at any rate that she was very healthy naturally. The Lord's a puppy. I'll know more of him. Now that he's lost, his only valuable. I hate life when I see it thus exposed to accidents like these. So many thousands burdening the earth with their stupidity, while such as she must die abruptly, pointlessly. Somebody is coming wants a little place. My heart is set upon the cherry trees by the riverside. My saucy sluts, farewell, my dearest night, Pudi, M.D. Why see a sea that's ten miles wide? A town on t'other side, ships sailing in the sea, discharging great cannons at M.D. and me. I see a great sky, moon, and stars, and all. I am a fool.